So bro, do you know there's this crazy case in South Korea about mummification? So back in December 2013, the Korean police received an anonymous call reporting a missing person. Apparently, their neighbour, who had been battling cancer for the past 7 years, had disappeared. So there were complaints about a foul odour emanating from their house. And the police had visited several times, but nobody answered the door. So it was until December 26, 2013, that the police finally obtained a search warrant. Inside, they found a well-kept and tidy home. But what shocked them was the discovery of a dead body in the middle of the living room. The man appeared to have been deceased for quite some time, lying on top of a bed sheet on the floor. Surprisingly, the body was remarkably well-preserved, almost as if it had been mummified. So the exact cause of his death remained unclear, considering the significant time that has passed since his demise. But here is the most astonishing part. He wasn't alone. It turned out that his wife and their three children had been living in the same house. So when the wife was questioned about her deceased husband, she seemed confused and even insisted to the police that he was still alive. According to her, he only appeared unwell due to his ongoing battle with liver cancer. So for seven years, the wife had been meticulously caring for her husband, cleaning and changing his clothes every day. Even their children would greet him as if he were still alive. So by all accounts, they were described as a happily married couple deeply in love. The husband was devastated upon learning of his incurable cancer, so he turned to religion for solace. He left the hospital and decided to treat himself at home with his last hospital record dating back to the end of 2006. And from that point onward, his friends and colleagues never heard from him again. So many questions arose about how no one had noticed this unusual cohabitation and how the body remained preserved for seven years. Wait, so they actually preserved the body for seven years? So some speculated that the wife, being a pharmacist, might have used chemicals to maintain the body. However, investigations revealed no traces of any preservative treatment. So how do you keep the body for 7 years without preservatives eh? I don't know bro. So, so to this day right, the preservation of the body remains a mystery. So the wife was eventually found innocent as her daily care for the body did not fall under the category of intentional abandonment of a dead body. So yeah, medical professionals diagnosed her with delusional disorder as she genuinely believed that her husband was still alive. You know what, she even claimed to have heard his heartbeat while sleeping beside him every night. But yeah, what do you think? Do you think like love can actually drive someone to the point of insanity or not? Yes, it's definitely doable. I mean, it would be like, nice to have somebody love you so much. <laughs> I, I, th I thought you were going to say, like, oh, it would be nice to have somebody preserve your body for seven years. <laughs> no, uh, it's a sad story after all and I wish this lady all the best. Uh.